Howdy ho! I have no idea how they say it in Luxembourg, but that is the country I'm getting today's review album from, and this one is called Ferder, with its EP called Paracosm. I have no idea, absolutely no idea, why this is a self-financed release, because the quality of the album is so much more. Now, be it as it may, this one comes with a nice-looking slipcase, so no jewel case whatsoever, but just a thin cardboard packaging with five tracks and rather interesting demonic cover image. Inside there is no booklet, but just a CD, because all the lyrical information, recording information and uh, other kind of information, including classical thank you list, is included right here. So that's how it looks, Paracosm. A, uh, some kind of a MCD interlude, if you will, after a couple of uh, full-length albums, respectively 2015-2019. Now, I must say, I'm a newbie to this band, so I had whatsoever no expectations, not the quality, not even the style, because it was only after a few spins that I opened this Metal Archive site. You know, there's a thing why I want to go rather virgin-like into these kind of albums. I rather not hear anything about it before. I rather not, uh, you know, how to say, inject any kind of information in my head. No expectations, but just the music. Now, uh, this was uh, this is a band that got contacted with me uh, recently, just before uh, this release, and as such, I almost made it to the release date. So like I said, I have no previous collection with uh, previous encounters, previous recollections with the band, which has, it seems, these five hand look, handsome looking guys. And this one is the Park Cosmo release of 2021, a kind of a successor to the band's previous single. Now, like I said, this comes, comes with five tracks, almost 30 minutes of music. So some bands, this could be qualified as full like the album. Now, whatever it is, uh, this one is of melodic death metal. And why isn't I say melodic death metal, I actually mean that this is not exactly just, you know, the kind of a lighter kind of melodic metal, you know, the 1990s kind of a In Flames and all that stuff. There's definitely more death metal counterparts here in the music or elements, if you will. And as such, it kind of reminds me I'm on a moth, but without those Viking ideas or themes. And uh, that's a pretty good thing, to be honest, because in my opinion, Amun Amoth is one of the leading bands in that particular genre. That is, they know how to incorporate kind of, kind of growlier vocals and heavy guitar sounds and, you know, kind of a death metal approach, even though being very, very melodic. It's much like, you know, what Hippogrizzy was doing with their kind of a more melodic output, but still having a lot of death metal parts in the music. Now, the only downside with uh, Paracosm is that it's not as catchy as it could be. And in my opinion, catchiness is a big part of this kind of music. After all, when you go for melodic output and you want to make it very, very good flowing music in that sense, uh, I think these melodies play an important part. And as such, that leads to kind of a catchier approach. I mean, when you go uh, to kind of a classic death metal without not so many melodies, obviously, then you can just go easy on the catchiness side because, you know, death metal, especially the kind of classic side, is not exactly made to do, you know, with the kind of a riffs that it's like something, oh, yeah, this is very much like radio play music. Now, I might be rambling random nonsense here, that's kind of a given, that's just my opinion about this kind of music. Now, without these lack of catchiness points and whatever, I would say Paragosm is pretty good, pretty nice, uh, MCD for its style. It might not be groundbreaking. I mean, if you're comparing this to the better songs and albums by Eminem Moth, it's kind of clear that they are the bigger bands. They know how to make it even better. But let's be honest about it. Eminem Moth has those weaker albums, weaker songs, which in my opinion are not on the same level as, as Paracosm, which should tell you quite a bit about the quality of this band from Luxembourg. So in case you're much a newbie like me, give this band a fair chance. I think it has totally deserved. Obviously, it kind of requires you to have a soft spot for this kind of melodic metal, melodic death metal, 
and then you're good to go. For people looking for more brutality or roar sound, this is not going to cut it. But people who can actually enjoy a lot of melodies and also a good flow with death metal definitely should check this out. Should check this out. And that's it. And in case you're interested, this physical copy is available through the band itself. So give it a go. Thanks for watching the review. Bye bye.